I know what you're thinking. Is she crazy? What can Jeff Bezos teach me about dating? Regardless of how you feel about the founder of Amazon, he has made life a lot easier. During the pandemic, I was able to eat thanks to Fresh Direct via Amazon, and I had enough toilet tissue to last for 10 months. This helped sustain me as I didn't leave my apartment at all during the pandemic, and I still rarely do. During his ascent as the leader of e-commerce, he was told over and over again that he would never make it. Lots of people thought he would fall flat on his face and they weren't afraid to tell him, and even more people hoped he would. But did that stop him? We all know the answer. Bezos' tweet last week was amazing. It was profound, it was empowering, and that tweet said, listen and be open and don't let anyone tell you who you are. This is something everyone should hear. It's definitely what you need to know and remember when it comes to dating and relationships. Listen and be open. It's important that you listen when you meet a man, whether in person or on a dating app. But don't just listen. Listen and be open-minded. There might be something that you can learn, if not about him, then about yourself. Have you ever gone on a date and because you felt uncomfortable, you talked and you talked and you, you probably overshared. So the next time you meet a man, let him do the talking because you can find out so much quicker whether or not he's the right fit for you. You can also consider where you and he stand on certain things and you might learn something new, some new viewpoint that you may have never considered. The second part of the text is really what got me. But don't let anybody tell you who you are. I'll say it again. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Now here's the tricky part when it comes to dating and for some people, maybe you, relationships. Think back to some of your first dates and eventual relationships and how you wanted the man to like you or keep liking you. You might have dressed or looked a certain way because you knew it was a look he was into. Come on, we've all done it. If a man tells you what he likes, that's one thing. And in the beginning, we talk about our likes and our dislikes, what we're into, music, movies, types of food, trends and fashions of all types of things. It's all interesting conversation when finding out about someone and generally, we're looking for commonalities. But if he tells you what to wear on a date, that's a flag. You don't yet know if it's a yellow or an orange flag. You've got to dig a little deeper. And you know what to do about yellow and orange flags, don't you? You proceed with caution. You ask questions to find out more about this particular man. You do discovery to understand the context of this random suggestion, request, piece of advice, because you wanna know where he's coming from. What's the intention? Now your go-to might be, who does he think he is? Is he some kind of controlling megalomaniac? Now figure this out before you act impulsively and berate him, okay? And remember what I said about what to do with different color flags. And be open and cautious, trusting and discerning, strong and vulnerable, and one shouldn't override the other. Now this is where you're gonna have fun by being curious and asking questions by uncovering what the intention is underneath. Why did he say what to wear? Is it because you're going on a hike and he wants you to be comfortable? Is it because he's taking you to a black tie event and he wants you to feel beautiful in what you're wearing or wants you to feel comfortable fitting in? Are you meeting family and friends at a pool party, which calls for a different look? If so, this could make sense. Or is this a first date? Now, if this is a first date and he's telling you to wear a certain look, a sexy dress and heels, or asked you what you're going to wear, I hope you'll pause. 
I hope you'll ask yourself, does this seem weird? I hope you'll find out his why. Discover the reason, the intention behind the statement. Is it because he wants you to look sexy for him? Is it because he wants you to feel sexy for you? Is it because he's taking you to a really special place and all your profile pictures show you dressed very casual? Is it because he's taking you somewhere casual and all your profile pictures show you dressed to the nines? Is it because he wants you to fit, he wants to fit in and maybe he doesn't know what to wear? Don't go into good girl conditioning and go along with it if that's not what you want. Instead, bring out your Nancy Drew and grab your magnifying glass before you come to a conclusion. When you can comfortably ask questions with curiosity instead of judgment, then you can understand why he's saying what he's saying. Lots of women I know have the automatic response of defensiveness, and I understand. A man telling you what to wear can be a huge red flag but it doesn't have to be. Context is everything. Maybe he's in the fashion field. Maybe he loves fabrics and textures and clothing. Maybe you mentioned that you're really not that good at putting outfits together. The real question is, does he accept you for who you are or is he trying to change you? I'm sure you have a friend who got into a relationship and suddenly Took, took up a particular sport. Or maybe she stopped going to the gym like she used to. We all adapt and are open to changing a little bit of ourselves when we're getting to know someone. But if you're dating or in a relationship and you've done a 180, look inward and ask yourself, what the hell is going on? Bezos tweeted, listen and be open, but don't let anybody tell you who you are. Don't let anyone tell you who you are. Don't be like the actor Brad Pitt. He's the ultimate shapeshifter. He morphs into every woman he's ever dated, so much so that it can be challenging to see who he really is. Now, does Pitt allow others to shape him? Does he prefer his dates to tell him who he is? Does he do this because he doesn't know himself? Below, I'll put a link to Pitt and the women he's dated so you can see for yourself. But I want to encourage you, don't let anyone change you. Don't let your friends and family wonder what became of you. Be true to yourself and ask questions to see if your date's best intentions are the same as yours. Now, I don't know what you think about Bezos and whatever you think of them, he does give some sound dating advice. So I want you to date intentionally by listening and being open and knowing who you are. Now, if you enjoyed learning about how to be true to yourself, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And then head over to daretodatedifferently.com and get your free dating tips so that you can create a dating profile that gets results.